Hello guys and welcome back to this week's episode of Crystals with Kate. So this is going to be this week's special episode and it will be all about Yule. Um, you'll also see another upload for today and that will be on our actual crystal that we'll be talking about for the week. But with it being our Yuletide season, I did want to go ahead and address Yule. So today we will be going through crystals that are associated with Yule and why and what you can use them for. So to start off, we are going to chat about Obsidian. Um, Obsidian is a very protective crystal and is known to be um, very grounding and protective in its energies. And historically, it was used around um, Yule as an amulet of protection. A lot of what goes into Yule is reflection and what you want to change for the upcoming year. So it is also known to be used for a type of shadow work around this time of the year. Um, also, a lot of people tend to pass in the winter, the fall and the winter, so it can be protection in that sense to keep your keep your vitality and keep yourself safe. Your next crystal is going to be green calcite. Um, in general, this one is just going to have a lot of soothing vibes. It has a lot to do with heart healing, and a lot of people may have trauma associated with holidays. So, by working with green calcite, you are going to be assuaging those issues. Your next one is Red Jasper, and this one, I was a little bit confused at first when I was, it kept popping up for me in Yule Crystal Correspondences, so I did a little digging. It's obvious at first because it is a color correspondence. It is red. Our Yule colors are going to be our reds and our greens. Um, the occasional blue, um, silver and gold are also often used in dressing certain Yule items, but specifically your reds and your greens. Um, red Jasper has a lot to do with grounding, but it also has a lot to do with your sexual appetite. Um, and from what I have been researching, apparently using it during Yuletide helps to assuage the issues that come with a decreased libido around this time of the year. Um, a lot of people have experienced seasonal depression or angst around the holidays, which can affect, affect their sexual health and their sexual relationships. Um, so Red Jasper can help you work through all of that and keep an open and nice sex life. All right. I am feeling very awkward talking about that. Anyway, so the next one is going to be carnelian. Um, <laughs> so carnelian, again, it is the color correspondence. It is red. And again, um, winter is a time when not only are a lot of people going home, they're, going, they're passing away. Um, it is also known as earth death. So Carnelian historically was used as a death stone, specifically in Egypt, um, a lot of other ancient cultures as well. So this is a good crystal to use for, you know, maybe you have a loved one that's passed on around this time, um, putting them with maybe some offerings you do for them around the holidays or the remembrance candle you light, maybe put some carnelian by it. Um, it also helps to prevent, promote vitality and abundance. So like coming back. So the earth, it dies every winter gets cold and it gets brown and things aren't growing but it comes back you have that vitality you have that rebirth so I think carnelian does a really good job of showing that your next one is going to be sunstone so yule is specifically done to honor the sun okay so it was done around the solstice so the solstice was the longest night of the year and every day after that you get closer and closer to more and more and more sunlight. You get to closer to longer days. Darkness starts to recess. So Yule is celebrating the return of the sun. So it makes sense that we would have a sunstone here. Um, in terms of its properties, though, it is really good for self-care um, and personal cleansing. A lot of people struggle to take care of themselves during the holidays because they're more worried about the hustle and bustle. They get caught up in things that are going on. Um, and furthermore, it helps to remove that negative energy. So whether that negative energy is because of you, whether that negative energy is because maybe it's being around your family or your friends, or maybe all of it combined, it can help you work through that negative energy. All right, we are gonna take a break right here and we will have a quick ad and then we will chat about ways to support the show. And then we'll finish up on the ways that we can work with crystals during your time. And now for a quick break to talk about the ways to support the podcast. If you are enjoying what we are doing here on Crystals with Kate, I am so very happy that you are enjoying it. I just wanted to give you a few ways that you can help support the show. The first way is by following us on TikTok and Instagram, which will be linked in my link tree below. I am a small crystal business owner. Any orders to my website or my Etsy shop would be very much appreciated. 
I also have a spot on my link tree for donations for divination practices such as pendulum readings and tarot spreads. And last but not least, I do have a Patreon for our show. My Patreon has four tiers and they are each named after a crystal. The first tier is the Jasper tier and that starts at $3.33 a month. That gets you early access to podcasts and they are absolutely ad free. It also gives you a copy of my metaphysical notes for my crystals. Next is the Quartz Layer, and that is $7.77 a month. That gives you, again, ad-free early access, and that gives you full crystal notes. So all of the things I'm talking about now, if you wanted a more detailed grimoire page, would be included. My next layer is the fluorite layer, and that is $22.22 a month. Again, you get your full crystal notes, ad-free, and early access to the podcast. And then you also get happy mail from me. You get a monthly crystal mystery box, and that would be valued at about $15 to $20 worth of product. Next up, our last and highest tier is the Amethyst tier, and that is $44.44 a month. And once again, you do get full crystal notes, early access, and ad-free. And then you also get a monthly box for $35-ish worth of goodies. That is a guaranteed larger piece or jewelry. So it might be a ring or a bracelet. It may be a small tower, something that really makes this worth your money. So all of these are wonderful ways to support the show. All right, welcome back. So we have a few more crystals to talk about with their correspondences to you. <clears throat> the first one is gonna be clear quartz. So clear quartz, um, it is a staple in any crystal collection as far as I'm concerned. Um, it's one of my favorites. I use it for pretty much anything and everything under the sun, but specifically for Yule, um, a lot of ancient cultures used it during the holidays. Um, the way that they described using it from what we can understand is that it was kind of as a ward. So they would use it to like ward off the negative vibes from your family or friends that were visiting and kind of like protecting the integrity of your home from all of the negative vibes that may or may not enter your home. The next one was rose quartz. Um, again, with the holidays, sometimes it's really hard to focus on yourself. Sometimes it is really hard to love yourself. And sometimes you can get stuck in that hole of seasonal depression. So it is important that we are ushering in that self-love, especially during such a stressful time of the holidays. Um, you're drawing that loving energy in and it's letting you keep that balance through the chaos that is the holiday season. Holidays are chaotic and it is important that you remember who you are and hold your own during the holidays, okay? Next one is gonna be moss agate. Um, again, that is a color correspondence, but is also linked a lot to birth. Um, birth and rebirth are common themes during Yule, so it makes sense that moss agate is used here. And our last one is gonna be bloodstone. So bloodstone is known for keeping one's heart healthy and clear from negativity. Again, with all the chaos, with all of the family, whether it's family you get along with or family you don't, there's a lot of tension around the holidays and everyone is very emotional. So it is common to get into arguments with family members that you probably never would otherwise if it wasn't just the stress of the holidays. It's going to help you keep not only your heart, but your head healthy and clear from all of that negativity. Um, it's also going to help with moving that prosperity into your life during the holidays. The holiday is a time of giving. Um, and this is kind of helping you bring that wheel back around in terms of receiving. Not in a greedy sense, though, just in a sense of I am putting out into the, into the universe and I will be it will be coming back to me. And then the last thing here with bloodstone to note is it does help to purify your aura. A lot of people have auras that can get a little dingy around this time of the year. And again, that is due to all of the chaos and the stress and the struggles that happen around this time of the year. So with all of that being said, these are how I am planning on using some of my crystals with Yule. Um, I am really excited. Uh, if you want a little bit more information on specifics of Yule, um, other correspondences and history, please do not forget, I do have a book that I just published on uh, Amazon and it is called A Witch's Guide to Yule. I will link that down below. I will also link um, my Amazon storefront below for anyone that is interested in looking at last minute Christmas gifts for the witchy people in their lives or those who are spiritual or maybe you just to treat yourself for the new year. All of that will be linked down below. Thank you guys for tuning in and I am wishing you guys the happiest of a Yuletide season. Bye guys.